Voters only have a few days left to make up their minds on candidates in the Kentucky primary election. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Ryan Mitri. Canada spoke to voters one last time in Owensboro today before they cast their ballots on Tuesday. Eyewitness News Ann Powell has the story from your local election headquarters. Voters took a seat in the Davis County Courthouse lawn for the annual red, white and blue picnic, eager to hear from candidates one last time. Candidates for the Davis County District Court Judge, Family Court, Clerk, Property Valuation Administrator, Sheriff, Commission Central, East and West, each had two minutes to talk. Judge executive candidates each had three minutes. Michael Van Over is an ambassador for the Owensboro Chamber of Commerce. He listened to each candidate and says events like this help him know who is on the ballot. It just gives me better insight on the candidates and what their message is. I think it's important to hear that and to understand it. Vinover says he's very active in the voting process and is excited to see the mixed bag of candidates. We've got, uh, we've got a lot of young young people, uh, newcomers that are uh, that, that have a server a server's heart. Uh, we've got a lot of seasoned service people that are here today to run again. It was also the last day that Kentuckians could vote early. Molly Galloway is a deputy clerk at the Davis County Courthouse. She says it is a big year for the primary election. Especially local things like there's the sheriff, there's my office, there's county clerk's office, there's PBA, there's several judges, there's a lot of different things on the ballot this year that are local that affect us locally. Galloway says they have seen about a 2% voter turnout for the 78,000 registered voters in Davis County. In Davis County and Powell, Eyewitness News. A Boonville woman was